Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to our life and today I wanted to do an update on um, my microcurrent realizations or microcurrent uh, device. I um, did one video on the microcurrent but that was still pretty when I was pretty new into it and I still was not quite sold on the long-term results but I could see the short-term results. Since then I continued using it and also did a little more reading and research uh, about the technology so that I can kind of share it with you. I'm pretty impressed with it and I figured I'm gonna do one more <laughs> big video because I wish I knew that a while ago. Now I have the new face device, I bought it, this is not sponsored, um, but there are a few different companies that uh, create microcurrent devices they're different I can't speak of the others because I haven't tried them but this one is pretty good I have the big version they have a mini and the mini is quite affordable uh, and it's pretty much the same thing uh, but this one has a replaceable head where you can put a different attachment on top this one is a strong one I got the professional one actually so it's just a little stronger in the microcurrent so the microcurrent technology is they started using it in the 60s for bell's palsy which is facial paralysis and they were having good results with it um so they noticed that the skin and the face appears nice and good after so it's been used for training the muscles and not only on the face people use it for uh, the body it's been used for different things such as rehabilitation of uh, ligaments and tendons and soft tissue for the face there is quite a few claims of what it does it is used for the puffing of the eyes uh, lifting up the jawline or tightening the jawline and the eyebrow area and it's been used in general to uh, tighten the skin of the face uh, to improve the circulation, to increase collagen and elastin production and the way it uh, increases collagen and elastin it actually um, uh, increases the ATP production of the cells which is the energy within the cells it uses low level electrical current that is identical or very similar to our own electrical current our bodies produce electricity magnetism their chemistry they're all of the above so this in particular imitates the electric current of the body which with time or with injury can get damaged so this imitates the electrical current of our own cells it sends low level electric current that you cannot feel pretty much most of the time unless you don't have a conducting gel or you have hair which conducts electricity uh, so i personally don't feel it but you can get a little zap uh, in certain areas some people say they get it around the hairline um, or around the eyebrows i don't quite feel it very often like you can tell here and there something but it's it's not painful it's it's not a massage is not relaxing either it's just kind of taking the device and holding it in areas where you want to improve the texture of the skin and the muscle now uh, because it improves collagen and elastin production and ATP production you can increase the ATP production of the cells up to 500% which is a lot I think um, especially for a home device if you ask me because you can get this uh, type of treatments at an office but since I do it every morning, it will be quite a bit of, uh, of an investment of time and money to go to an office every day. So what I do is I use it, I used to use it every day for a few weeks and then you can space it out as your time permits. You pretty much don't have to do much. Uh, you don't have to have dedicated time for it. You can be watching a movie and do it. You can be watching a video or reading a book. You light the device in a slow motion along the face along the jaw and the cheekbones and so forth and the weird thing is that every time i use it the, the difference is jaw dropping for me i can see that my face looks quite a bit different it's it's tightening the muscles 
and it it is said to have a really good long-term effect on the collagen and elastin production um, in the deeper layers obviously of the skin so not the texture of the skin as far as the texture i think long term it would have an some positive effect but it's not like glycolic acid or derma rolling because it doesn't quite affect the the very surface of the skin so if it improves it it will be from improved circulation from better collagen so the the skin is firmer but it doesn't really work on the surface of the skin because it sends the signal deep into the skin layers and so now you can read there is some studies on it done uh, it's not the most studied thing on the planet i uh, went on a limb wasn't sure i bought it at first i didn't like it and i was actually regretting buying it and i was considering returning it or uh, selling it but then i had to travel to bulgaria so i left it behind and behind i didn't deal with it came back and i figured well let me try it one more time <laughs> and i tried it i think twice or three times because i have it and i have a very strong uranus in my chart it is really strong so i am quite interested in technology in electronic devices or in devices not phone so much and games and such things at all but i'm interested in human ingenuity innovation um, i have a magnetic poster that is phenomenal for injuries it is phenomenal for injuries it sends a magnetic Pulse, which is again a similar technology a little different I'm not a um, scientist so I don't know the exact difference between the magnetic poster and a um, microcurrent device um, I try to read up on it but there isn't that much literature on those things because they're a little bit of the beaten path the magnetic posters so some physical therapists know about it I swear by it it's so powerful it's ridiculous so I do like devices and innovation and technology, especially when it's something about health. So after I came back from Bulgaria, I used it a couple of times and then I, every time I use it, I would pass by the mirror and I look different, but not a little different, a lot different. Like everything in my face looks lifted and tightened and freshened and just, it had an effect on me. So most of the YouTube videos were speaking about the short-term effects it it exercises your muscles so they're kind of buff the way if you work out and you're uh, you get a little uh, pump from the workout so all of the videos were emphasizing that effect of it which i was like mm, it's a shame like i don't know i want to do something for five minutes each day or eight minutes or whatever you're dedicating to each day for just a temporary effect kind of like exercise which I do a little bit of face exercises as well and or at least stretching and a little bit of um, tightening so I continued using it because I saw the results and I have the device I figured I'll use it but then the effect is uh, also um, compiles you have daily effect but then you also have compiling effect over time and um, I started reading a little more about it and I realized that this device actually has long-term a rejuvenation of the skin effect so it's something i wish i knew about and i wish i've used when i was a uh, little younger but it's never too late to add good things to your routine so that's why i wanted to speak about it and update you on it i did post on Insta instagram a before and after of the same day i'm not sure if i will include any before and afters in this video but you can go to that post on instagram it was quite quite obvious that everything kind of <laughs> lifts up <laughs> from it. it it does have a very strong effect for you not even feeling it and um it is um i think it started um ele elect electric currents uh first became an interest in humans when they started using electric eels electricity eels i think they're called for healing trauma they can be used to uh, this type of devices i'm sure this particular one is created for the face but uh, there is physical therapy devices that use two prongs and you can use them around the knees or joints or where there is soft tissue damage or um, some form of injury that can be used for that as well i actually think i did once go to a physical therapy and they used that but it was quite 
strong you could definitely feel it um, at the 10 level 10 uh, so they have been around and they have been used for different things this is just something that it actually uh, 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 was grabbed by the esthetician community because it has good effect on the skin as well but if it rejuvenates um, um, the muscles or if it can heal muscle trauma or if it can help with recovery uh, for ligaments and tendons uh, uh, you can imagine it's just good overall for the face as well but what sold me on it is really the results because a lot of things have claims but then you don't see a lot of results, especially with home devices. This, I think it works. But as I said, I didn't see any effects in the beginning or not enough for me to want to continue doing it. And I also didn't understand the exact effect of it. What it does is just one of the effects is the electric current makes your cells uh, production of ATP go up, which gets damaged with aging and with trauma. So that is one of the effects. Anyways, that's all I wanted. If you know any nice studies and papers, please link them below, below because I'd like to read a little more about it. I'm more here to tell you about my personal experience with it rather than the studies because there isn't that much, but enough for me to be <laughs> very curious about it. Uh, they use it for lifting the eyebrows. I think it's harder to get use of it on the forehead because you have less fat and you do need some fat for conductivity. Uh, after you glide it three times, three by three on the cheeks, you can also hold it here for those muscles so that you can tighten the, that jawline, which is something that goes with time. Uh, and then you can hold it under the cheeks and so forth. There is quite a few manuals of how to use it and tutorials, but in general, you just hold it without any pain or anything and it kind of tends to, to work its magic somehow. Anyways, that is from me. I hope this is helpful to you. I'll see you soon. Namaste.